I want to uh, show what I'm using to uh, keep water out of my deer cameras. Um, I've had one uh, just like this a couple years ago that got a little moisture inside. Uh, used it for a long time outside. The seal finally messed up. Got a little bit of moisture in it. And uh, of course it don't take much moisture. It, the camera stopped working on me. Um, deer cameras are expensive. I don't want to spend a lot of money to keep replacing them. Uh, to, so to keep the rest of my deer cameras in good shape, I built a little shed or a little box here. Um, basically what I did, and I, I just built two of these uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes. It didn't cost me anything because everything I used was scrap, stuff I already had. Uh, the back is a, two pieces that I ripped out of a 1 by 10 um, The sides is I believe that's half inch plywood scraps that I had and uh, the top I believe that's 3 8 plywood um, I left a gap here that's so that when the camera's in there you can get the straps uh, some of my other cameras have uh, a nylon strap that goes around it um, at any rate that's so you can get straps through the back and around the tree um, anyway like I said it's all scrap. Uh, I believe I made this one eight and a half inches wide. Uh, you would make them to fit your camera. I mean, all cameras come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, so it's eight and a half inches on this one wide on the inside, four and a half inches deep. Uh, the top is just a tad bit longer. I believe that may be five inches uh, just for rain to run off. And uh, I won't even put a bottom in it. Uh, no need. I'm just just trying to keep the water off of it as much as possible. On top I had some scrap shingles um, and uh, I used contact cement that I had left over. Put it on there and it's, it's not coming off uh, once it gets good and dry. I had a uh, uh, black spray can, or a can of black spray paint that I used just to kind of put one little seal on it. Um, and probably first of the next week I'm gonna get some better paint uh, I've got some some more cans different colors laying around I'll use uh, probably green or brown or whatever kind of camo it up a little bit um, not not too worried about it I don't I don't generally have too much trouble with them getting uh, having them stolen from my, my property I put two of these up today with other cameras uh, that work great um, but anyway this is what it look like once it's up um, as you can see, it's it, it'll keep the it's definitely going to keep the water off of it, and that's that's what I'm going for. Um, the way I attach these to the tree, obviously this tree that I'm using here is too big, but uh, I just use a couple screws, two in that top piece and two in the bottom piece back there in the back. Screw it to the tree, and uh, and that's it. Once you screw it to the tree, put that in there, runs the, run the straps through the through that gap in the back and go around the around the tree tighten it up you may have to move your camera to the side because this one has clips on this side you need to have room to get your get your hand in there or you can take it off each time um, that's it just a little tip on uh, trying to keep your deer cameras in good shape for as long as possible hope this helps